Hi, I'm John Covey, the creator of Covalence, a molecule building game, and I'm going to take the next few minutes to show you how to play. First, here's a brief summary of how to play Covalence. Covalence is a cooperative game. One player takes on the role of the knower, and that means that player knows what secret organic molecules the other players, the builders, are trying to build. But the catch is, the builders don't know what they're trying to build, and the knower may not verbally communicate to them. The knower communicates with these clue cards. The first clue the knower gives is free, and after that, the builders must spend a clue token to get more clues. When they think they're right, they'll spend a guess token. If the guess tokens ever run out, before they finish their secret organic molecules, the game is over. However, if they're able to build all of them before the guess tokens run out, all players win cooperatively. Here's how to set up covalence. First, you'll want to decide whether you're going to play the easy, medium, or hard version of the game. I suggest playing easy to begin so you can learn the rules. Now, decide who's going to play as the knower, and they'll sit in front of these cards and the builders. We're setting up for a three-player game, and in a three-player game, one player will play as the knower, and the other two players will play as the builders. In a two-player game, you'd have one builder and one knower, and in a four-player game, you'd have three builders and one knower. Now, we'll shuffle our organic clue cards and deal four of them face up in the center of the table in front of the knower. If any of them are duplicates, we'll reshuffle that one back in and place a new card out there so all four are unique. We'll do the same thing with our number clue cards. Now give each builder three carbons, one nitrogen, and one oxygen, and seven hydrogen tiles. You'll notice these are double-sided, so if you need a double bond or a single bond for either of these, you can flip it over to find the other on the opposite side. Now in a three-player game with two builders, you'll have six guest tokens and seven clue tokens. In a two or four player game, you'll have a different number, but you can look at the rule book for how many you need. And now you'll take your easy molecule cards, shuffle them up and place three of them at random in between the knower and each builder. So this builder will need to build these three and this builder will need to build those three. Now here's how to play covalence. To begin, the knower will look at the top card. Now these are what the builders need to build. The knower will then decide what clue they're gonna give each builder. The first clue is free. So here I might give the clue. The clues will immediately refresh, and then I will give my clue to the next player. And again, the builders do not know what's on the other side of this card, only the knower does. Now the rules for giving clues, I may give a maximum of one of these green cards. These are your organic clues. And then any number of the number clues down here. So I could try and make the number seven by giving a four and a three hydrogen. Or I could just give the number seven rather than giving any clues up here, or I could give them just one single clue up here. Any combination with the limit of one of the green and any number of the number ones. So here I might give a clue like now, the builders are going to go ahead and start rearranging their tiles to try and build something similar to what I have on the other side. You'll notice that you'll always have three octagon tiles in the center, and these are your octagon tiles. Every line, though, must be bonded to something else, like that. Now, when a player wants more clues, they will spend a clue token. I will look at what they have and I will give them another clue. When the builders spend a clue token to get another clue, it's up to the knower to decide who to give that clue to. So if this builder is correct, I'm not gonna give more clues to them, rather I'm gonna focus on the other one. Now if the knower doesn't like any of the clues that are available, instead of giving either player another clue, they can choose to discard any number of these cards and refresh them with new cards. Now at some point in the game, both players hopefully will think they're correct. So they will submit a guess token, and the knower will look at the top card and let them know if they are correct. This player is correct, and they will be rewarded with one clue token back. This player, however, is not correct. You'll notice the nitrogen is not in the center, so they will not see anything and just be told you are not correct. They will still need to pay clue tokens to get more clues, but the player that is correct will shuffle all of their clue cards back into the decks over here, this will stay in front of them, and the knower will look at the next card and give them one more free clue to help them build their next card. 
the game ends as soon as either they've completed all of their secret organic molecules, in which case they win, or they've run out of guest tokens, in which case they lose. And that's how you play Covalence. Now, if you've played the easy, medium, and hard version, and you want more of a challenge, well, we've added the Chemist expansion just for you. That adds a bunch more molecule cards, chlorine tiles, and your chlorine organic clue cards. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to play Covalence, a molecule building game. Thank you.